Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're doing great. Nakash is back with another excited video tutorial. So in this video, I'm gonna show you. I already upload a video on my YouTube channel where we're gonna create next. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create this kind of smoke effect inside the Tenma 4D using Turbulence FD. So I already create something for you. Okay. Let me show you what we can do here. So as you can see here, we're gonna create this kind of effect. Uh, later on I will tell you how you can render a smoke or fire shader on the next level so it looks really great so so I know it's not looking exact but uh, I just show you how you can do that I just give you an example I'm not going through this all this modeling step so I just show you a little bit so I use supplying for this I use simple tube and give that give that tube fillet and I use a bullying with uh, cylinder for these holes and so on so there is simple capsule and I just half the capsule from the bottom and I also add a thickness on all this stuff because uh, when you apply a collider okay let's start from the beginning so we create a basic shape so we create so how we can create basic shape so let's go here so let's create a basic shape Part, uh, or you just create a new uh, disk here make it a little bit smaller uh, same size of that hole is where smoke comes from so you just wait you just make it a little bit smaller so we can do that that's it so Here we make it a bit smaller. Make sure uh, your disk uh, is under this object, this uh, capsule. So otherwise, it's gonna it's not gonna collide properly with your capsule. So first thing, first we create a turbulence empty container. Bigger, like this. Here we go. So now apply a triple FFT tag on your disk here. You just rename it as so triple FFT and just turn on the temperature from 5 on the temperature 5 and now we just check our first simulation with default settings so sorry let me start as you can see here so how oh, it's gonna work so, 
there we go you can see better so this is all the default settings so what we can do there here first we just go in trouble as ft container go in simulation tab go in temperature and just change the on from uh where we do want to say from one to minus one so now if you hit start so as you can see here your fire go down so we just disable uh, we just enable the gravity by uh, by adding a negative sign on one so we just add one more we just change the wnc from 45 to 30 sorry so let's start so as you can see here it's gonna slow down so now everything is fine but we need to uh, it's not collide with your any of these objects so what we can do when you apply a uh, emitter on your capsule or turbulence every tag on your capsule so if you hit a uh, collision object just go in turbulence every tag just check this collision object box here so now we just check it again so see so wait, uh, oh my god it's okay so because it crashed sometime i don't know why so we're gonna fix it soon okay, so we have our backup here I hope we yeah, have backup. So here we go. So before, so one twenty seven. So here we go. We have our backup file. So here we go. Everything is good. So we go back to our triple and safety simulation window, and now we just apply a. Uh, turbulence FT tag on our capsule on our glass jar so as you can see here if we go in turbulence FT tag and just hit uh, check the collision object and if you click on start now so as you can see here what happened you can't see anything because you need to have a thickness on your uh, collider object for react with turbulence FT and next thing we need to increase the radius so we just change it to from one from our emitter tag radius so we just change it to one from 10 as you can see here now we hit play so it's collide with our so we say with our container so with our container so why does this happen maybe our emitter is outside of this glass so we we'll just take a little bit down so and now we hit start again so as you can see here same problem so main thing is we need to add a thickness on our container so for adding a thickness on our container what we can do here we just add a cloth surface on that thing so we just hold alt and add cloth surface so we just make a little bit x-ray view enable so just increase uh disable this subdivision to zero and add your thickness so as you can see here we add two and here we go we just put it there so let's see so as you can see here it's go inside now but thickness is not too much that's why we need to increase that thickness and decrease the radius of our, of our emitter 
So we just change it to apply. Sometimes you need to play these with these values. So otherwise, as you can see here, now it's looking more awesome. So here we go. So it's all about thickness. Don't worry, it, it's not gonna work. Just add more thickness on it. So as you can see here, uh, before adding a closed surface, our turbulence entry tag apply on capsule. Now I just change it to from capsule to closed surface. Make sure you can follow all this uh, process. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. Now we just add our uh, client tag on this cylinder we have down there or on this disk so we gonna do same thing we just duplicate this lower surface here we just remove the capsule and add our disk under this so here we go so now we have a thickness on our disk so let's see if it's okay for this disk or we need to add more thickness so now hit start As you can see here, it's gonna collide with our disk really perfectly. Now we add same. Now we do same process with this. Uh, what we say with this cube. So what we're gonna do here? We just duplicate it, remove this, and now add our boolean effect here. So we just remove X-ray from there. So now let's see. What's gonna what's gonna happen? So we just make it editable. Right, so second wait. Now let's see how gonna it work. If we hit start, So as you can see here, it's gonna work really well. So, but there is some. We just stop it. We increase the frame from 90 to 300. So we fix these uh, errors. So as you can see here, it's going fast through this tube. So how are we gonna fix it? I just tell you. So we need to add a meter, going a meter, and we just simply add little going force and add a pressure. Like we just add 30%, 30. Now, if I hit play here, So as you can see here, what's happened with pressure? So that's looking great, but we need to stop this uh, pass through, uh, through error. So what we're gonna do? We just go in turbulence after container and click on container tab and decrease the box inside. Don't go through under one. So if you, it's depend on your machine. So I just try with one. I hope. As you can see here, it's gonna more slow down your simulation, but it gives you really high resolution result. Which we have before, you can just increase or decrease the values, play around these stuff, so you can get more cool stuff here. Now we go through the rendering, so how we render a better looking smoke here. So first. If we render it as a default, so as you can see here, it's the fire. So we make it more interesting. So what we can do here, first we go in rendering. And we just, first we go with our smoke here. We just click on none and go in smoke shader. And change it from none to our temperature. So as you can see here, we do this uh, same with the viewport. We just change it to a temperature and shader from 
none to a smoke shader so as you can see here it give you a, a, a same result which you get after rendering here so what we can do here we just little do little settings here so first we need to add more thickness we just add 150 as you can see here we increase the thickness it will give you a more good result so we want a white smoke here so what we can do here and we add little bit darkness or we just increase so as you can see here if you click on rendering so it give you more good results so as you can see here so it's looking great so now we just test it with a small uh, fire shader so what we can do here we just go in rendering and we also enable our fire shader channel from none to a temperature now if we render here so as you can see we have a fire with a smoke so it's not looking interesting so what we can do here we just go back to our smoke shader and make our smoke a little bit darker like that and also dark so like this now if we render it so as you can see our, our fire look more good so we make it more darker so if we render here so as you can see here your fire is looking more good so I think so we just add a noise here you can see here it's it like 40 let's see what we get here so as you can see here you get different results so it's only uh, I don't make a detailed tutorial it's just a basic info how you get this kind of smoke or fire uh, simulations inside the Canva 40 by using Turbulence FD. So if you didn't subscribe my channel, don't forget to subscribe it. So I hope you like this video. If you don't understand something, just comment below. I'm here for your help. So wait, I do a little bit more. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.